Jesus did a lot of traveling in his ministry uh, for a few years. I mean, if we were to draw a map and look at all the draw, you know, track where everywhere Jesus went, all the towns, all the places, the homes, the people, but it was a lot of traveling and a lot of work uh, spreading the gospel message. But Jesus was not alone. Jesus, of course, had the disciples, the men whom he had called to be his disciples, who were with him, who followed him, who listened to him, who helped proclaim uh, the good news of the gospel. But there were others, we're told, with Jesus, helping with their different needs along the way and uh, making sure that they um, had what they needed as they traveled. And we read of this in Luke chapter 8 today. In Luke chapter 8, just a few verses today that I want to look at. It says that it came to pass that Jesus went through every city and village, preaching and bringing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. Again, Jesus traveling to all kinds of cities, villages, uh, coming to all places, but you know, you gotta sleep, you gotta eat, um, you know, you gotta wash clothes, you gotta do all kinds of things that, you know, uh, we're gonna need help with, cooking, um, and I'm sure they all pitched in. Again, Jesus, we know, had the 12 disciples, um, and I'm sure that they helped with things as well, and gathering what was needed, but as we're told at the end of verse 1 there, that the 12 were with him. Um, but also were, verse 2, certain women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities or sicknesses. And he mentions some of them. Mary, called Magdalene, out of whom had come seven demons. Jesus had cast out seven demons from Mary Magdalene. And now she was one of Jesus' followers, one helping him along the way in his travels, in his ministry, as well as Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart, and Susanna, and many others who, it says, provided for him from their own substance, from their own possessions, to, to have things they needed, I'm sure, to pay for things along the way as they needed. What we see here, and what I want to give from this today, is all these men and women. You know, the 12 disciples, but there were other men who became, you know, followers of Christ. They were not the specific, specially chosen 12 who were the apostles, but there were followers, men and women, even these women, that's a few of them are mentioned, and then many others who were traveling with Jesus. And it says they were giving of their own possessions. They were doing what they could to help Jesus. And what, what this reminds me of, and I think a way this encourages us, is there is something we all can do for the Lord in our life and in the service of others and loving and serving others and in the work of the church. There is something all of us can do. All of us can help and provide whatever we can. Now, it may not all be the same thing. We may not all do the same thing. We may not all have the same abilities. We may, all, may not all have the same resources and means. But there is something that all of us, men and women, brothers and sisters in Christ, there is something we can do to serve God and to serve others in love. And to help the work of the church, to help the church grow, to encourage people, help people, support people, make sure whatever's needed is, is made available. And that's what we see in all of these men and women who were helping Jesus along his ministry. Jesus didn't do it alone. We aren't to do it alone. And we're all to be in this work together. So find something you can do. Find something we all can do. However small, however great, everything, every opportunity, do what we can with what we have and who we are. God bless.